Good day, Rust Skin Enjoyers. I hope you're all doing well in the world right now because it is the 13th of June. It's time for the Rust Workshop Skin Checks. Yes, every single week we take a look at all of the newest Rust Workshop submissions that have appeared over the past weekend and we're in the hunt to figure out which of these skins could potentially lead us towards some delicious looking profits. Yes, when we normally see a continuation of a collection, we tend to see the uh, pre-existing skins of said collection go up in demand and price. Therefore, it might be wise to invest into them and as I said, it could delete it could lead to some delicious looking profits that's our aim that's our intention and of course you know to be aware of all the potential skins that might appear in a future rust store so just to give you a nice little quick explanation you might hear some fans in the background i need them turned on because if i don't have them turned on i will melt and i'll just sweat profusely so <laughs> i'm not used to the hot weather it's really hot here at the moment so i need them on so if you happen to hear them my apologies and uh just to try and get you know jump straight into uh, talking about everything i'm going to skip the introduction for the week so if you want to learn about how to uh, get yourself nicely set up with your own fall Adorfers list i'd recommend watching a previous uh, rust workshop skin check so that you can understand that process because i'm just going to jump straight in i don't want to i don't want to go on for too long so gentlemen ladies gentlemen whoever you might be we have all of these new skins to take a look at only 86 this week which is a bit of a surprise well here we are shall we just get started shall we start talking about all the new skins let's just jump straight in starting off we have this royal lion rock made by luck ramp yes looking pretty cool there um not sure what that's in reference to but uh hey looks pretty cool doesn't it then we have a delicious looking sleeping bag and a continuation of a collection so here we are uh <laughs> tuck in i guess oh that, oh that's clever tuck in to get into sleeping bag but tuck in to also eat it clever so good job there mr wag pretty cool if you like it you know what to do in the description the link to this collection of all these skins that you see here will be in the description so just click that now click the link and you could go through all of these skins yourself and you can vote for all the skins that you like and you know what if you don't happen to like a skin you're more than welcome to vote no but at the very least you should go to the comments page and you should offer some constructive criticism offer your feedback maybe they could tweak something that you think could probably help the skin and if the skin isn't accepted in the future when they want they might consider doing a version two they'll probably take in, uh, your feedback incorporate it into the new version of the skin and you never know maybe it potentially might be accepted in the future and you helped out so yeah all good then we have right here the rainbow pony sleeping bag gentlemen it's a continuation of the rainbow po uh, pony collection off we go come on we're on to SCMM right now we're going to take a look at all of the rainbow pony skins and we're going to discuss whether it will have an impact or not yep so take your time SCMM I'll, I'll yeah anyway let's go <laughs> rainbow pony is actually fairly popular in terms of acceptances there's a lot of skins that have been accepted so rainbow pony right here and we have so far 23 skins accepted not too long ago we did have the l96 accepted not doing too good at the moment unfortunately but when you look at all of the other skins they're doing pretty all right yeah it's doing all right so we've had some deplorables accepted before the sheet metal door and the garage door and they're looking pretty good so what do you reckon will this being accepted potentially have an impact on all of these skins i'm going to be brutally honest with you the fact that we have all of the core pieces for the clothing and armor and we already have some doors i don't think it's going to have that much of an impact but at the very least i do think if this were to be accepted it would very likely sell quite a lot and as time goes on it would probably turn out to be a very nice investment it will go up in price i think a lot of people will look at that and think oh yeah i need that or oh I can use this as the bag that I bag all my friends into. And then you can laugh at them because they have the rainbow pony bag. <laughs> but anyway, cool looking bag. Little Ranger. Done a very good job. And City. I should also point, uh, point out City as well. So yeah, it's nice to see a continuation of this. Let's see if that potentially gets accepted. And do you know what you can do to help them out? You can go to the link in the description right now. Go to the collection link. And you can vote yes or no if you like it or not. Simple as. Right, let's go take a look at some of these furnaces. We've got a lovely batch of them. Quite silly. Quite funny. Let's go take a look. So we have the likes of the clay furnace made by Demon. Not too uh, crazy in terms of its design, but you know what? It's nice, it's grounded, and I think a lot of people who like those types of skins would be happy with this. It's a bit shiny, isn't it? That really does need to cook a whole lot more, doesn't it? Then we have the likes of the crystal furnace version 2 made by Hashaki. Wow. That's uh, Amethyst, isn't it? It's all purple. Yeah, uh, that's pretty cool. 
And uh, yeah, that's what it looks like at night time. It's very purpley there, isn't it? Ooh. Then we have this Keeper of the Fire Furnace made by Marco and uh, Polo. So yep, get a good look at that. And that's what it looks like at night time. There. Oh, it's... Yeah, KK. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> We've got Pingu! Hey! So, um, you might not remember, but uh, KK has been uh, submitting a whole bunch of pet rocks over the past few weeks, but it started off with the penguin rock. Um, unfortunately, the penguin rock, penguin rock wasn't accepted. I honestly think if he released that, if he re-released that at Christmas time, that would get accepted. I think that would. But, uh, of course, the Capybara Rock was accepted. Uh, he's tried a few more recently. Hasn't been successful. So now he's considering, you know what? Why don't I delve into making some deployables? Which, fair enough. It's goofy. It's silly. I think a lot of you would like that. So, yeah, I wouldn't say no to it. So get a good look at this. And I think there is a version 2 as well. So let's just go take a look at that. And, uh... Oi, oi. <laughs> Look at the eyes! <laughs> yeah, it stares deeply into your very soul. <laughs> or you, it might scare you. You might run away. You might run into your base. You could lock up. You could have all of your doors up. And you could tuck yourself into bed and think you're all nice and safe at night. And as you slowly close your eyes and think you're safe, you'll get all drowsy. And you'll slowly open them, and you'll see this right in front of you at your bedside, and, <laughs> and it'll creep closely towards your ear, and it will say, bloop, bloop. <laughs> Yeah, pingu, uh, pingu joke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honestly? <laughs> I want it now. <laughs> of course it lights up at night time. <laughs> right, I want to murder... I want a murder penguin now. You know what? Can we just have a murder penguin set? We tried for the funny looking rock keke. It didn't work out. Let's just have a whole bunch of murderous penguins for our skins from here and now. <laughs> he wants the whole world to burn. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. <laughs> we got the dragon sofa set. This is kind of a continuation of a collection, sort of. You might be aware of Jessin and Xenia Paris's previous skins. Uh, they made Dragonhorn and uh, Toxic Dragon. And they also made Ice Dragon, which never really took off. But let's just quickly show this to you. If we just scroll back a bit more. Oh, they also made that zombie furnace. That looked really cool. So yeah, yep. Rem do you remember Toxic Dragon? Do you remember Dragonhorn? There we go. Dragonhorn uh, skins right there. Unfortunately, it didn't look like some of those weren't accepted, but yeah. So... It seems they really do like dragon skins, and uh, they really do like to commit to it. So here we have the newest incarnation for a potential full set of deplorables. It is the Dragon Sulfur Furnace. Uh, if you like it, you know what to do. You can go to the description right now, and you can go ahead and vote yes or no. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do a little goofy story for this one. <laughs> Just for the penguin. <laughs> so yeah, if you like any of them, you know what to do. Moving on to storages. Here we are. We have my storage box made by Alex Valera Works, a military wood box, and and a recycler small box yep three small box skins to take a look at so here we are this is the uh my storage box my box my loot simple as uh if you touch it you're gonna die yes the message is very clear so funny little skin idea alex villera work in mishku oh you can see the progress of it as it develops into the proper skin very nice very cool right moving on we have the military wood box it is very, very military, military. <laughs> I was trying to say, oh, it looks very. I can't speak now. Look what you've done to me. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Cool idea. Simple, straightforward, grounded in terms of its uh, design. But as I said, a lot of people do appreciate those type of skins. So, moving on, we have a continuation of a older set that we haven't seen for quite some time. The Recycler set. Yes. You're, uh, you might remember all of the Recycler weapon skins that we've had in the recent past. Well, let's go take a look. Let's go take a look at the Recycler set. Oh, no, not, not with a V. I can, sp I can spell this right. Recycler? I'm not going crazy. There we are, Recycler Collection. Yep, so we've only had weapon skins accepted. The most recent one was the AK back in February. Well, now we're, we're delving into deplorables. Maybe this will work out. When was the last small box skin to be accepted? Actually, no, that wasn't that long ago. We had the uh, 
we had Jeepers skin, didn't we? Yeah, okay, we've had quite a few of those, but do you know what? I wouldn't say no to it. This obviously is uh, in reference to, uh, you know, recyclers that we have in the game, and, you know, it's nice to see some skins in reference to the actual game itself, so, yeah, I'm not opposed to it. We'll see if that potentially gets accepted. Uh, what do you think? You can go to the description right now, and you can click the link, and you can vote for it, yes or no. And uh, if not, don't forget to offer some feedback. All right, so those are all the small boxes. Time to take a look at all the large boxes. And of course, loads of people are still trying to make attempts to start off a new storage collection. So if you weren't fully aware of what I'm on about, if you take a look at the likes of Neon Storage Collection, Scientific Storage Collection, or Graffiti Storage Collection, you'd probably understand what I'm talking about now. Loads of people are trying to go for that lucrative potential uh, collection um thing a uh, situation uh, collection um okay let me just put this put it this way if a if a skin creator happens to be the one that gets the uh, col uh storage collection accepted their first skin they are very likely going to have about 15 skins accepted after that um on average i mean i'll just show you so let's just go show you neon storage I'm sure you're fully aware of what these are, but basically it's a very lucrative thing to chase after because you're pretty much guaranteed to have at least 15 different storage skins to be accepted, which hopefully will sell a lot. And I wouldn't be surprised if they do because, well, all of these storage collection skins are doing very nicely at the moment. I did make a video about this, but I'm probably going to leave it until Friday now, Friday or Saturday. So yeah, that's what I mean. And Graffiti was the most recent one, but... Um, the uh this was it like when this ended face punch actually sent out a word to say we don't want to see any more storage collection attempts for a while that was almost a year ago because this ended on september so yeah uh loads of people are attempting it, you know it's been almost a year so people are giving it a shot just to see if it could happen but i don't think any official word has been sent out yet so it's not like facebook said all right guys let's go make some more storage collections people just think Maybe this is enough time. Maybe I'll try my shot. So I don't blame them. As I said, if you're going to potentially get 15 guaranteed skins to be accepted after that, it's a pretty nice situation to be in, isn't it? So there you go, Mr. Yeah. Showed off your skin. Then we've got Tor Case version 2 meds. So with these storage collections, there's always something that I bring up. When you look at the likes of the most recent storage collections, uh, Graffiti and Scientific, they had an extra special fourth uh, theme to them that makes them stand out compared to all of the other skins in their collection. What I'm referring to is, with all of these storage collections, you'll usually see a different colour, a different name, and maybe a different picture. But what they lack is a special fourth ingredient or special fourth theme that makes them extra special with their individual uh, the individual skins itself. So basically, uh, when you look at scientific storage collection, each and every single one has like special formulas written all over it or something that is scientific in reference to the actual uh, uh, skin itself. Like, for example, electrical has like sound waves and electrical currents and whatnot written all over it in scribbles. So that's its special theme. And with the likes of the graffiti storage collection, all of the font is utilized in a way that's in reference to the specific skin that is. So the clove storage for the graffiti storage set uh, has all like patches and stitched uh, stitch work on it and whatnot and the likes of the wood uh, storage is all like uh, nailed in and you know, it's like planks and whatnot so that's the special full thing and this is what quite a lot of these skin submissions are lacking because i don't seem to s notice anything here but it is your first skin mr monomic man what are you going to do from here on now that's going to make it extra special compared to all of the other s skins that you make we shall see. Sorry for the bit of the sorry for the ramble, but I kind of have to say this every single time now. I see a new batch of storage collection attempts because loads of people do the exact same thing. They make the mistake of only doing different color, different picture, and different name. You need an extra special fourth thing, but that's not a guaranteed type of situation. It's just an observation me and Micro made when we we're doing our Saturday skin showcases last year when we saw loads of other people trying to make a, a storage collection. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Moving on to the regular storage skins, we have Johnny Old Boy with a frozen fish box. All right, I get, I get it, I get it. When you go fishing on a trawler, you put them all in the box. Okay, that's, that's, that's cool. Okay, it's unique. <laughs> uh, then we have uh, oh, a continuation of a collection. Yeah, porcelain. 
Yeah, porcelain. How do you spell porcelain? Uh, oh, I did it. I'm the best. Spelling bee champion. Right, so we have had a porcelain deplorable before. There you go. There's a large box. So, with the likes of the porcelain set, we've had pretty much all of the armor pieces. Not the clothing, funnily enough. But, uh, looks like uh, Mr. Vase has returned. And, it, you know, maybe, potentially, on the horizon, we might see another attempt at the hoodie and pants. That'll be interesting. But let's stick it with the likes of the, uh... Large box here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you got like, oh, you got a load of art here. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. Yeah, no, that looks pretty cool. So, if we saw this being accepted, would all of this potentially go up in demand and price? Eh, you know what? Out of curiosity, with what I just said, if we do see that potentially being accepted, I think you will see these go up in demand because a lot of people might think, Surely the skin creator is going to make a second attempt. Oh, he's already done a second attempt. Surely he'll make a third attempt in trying to get his hoodie and pants accepted. That's what people probably would be more curious about. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. That's a hard maybe, but still, by default, that's look. That's a cool looking large box. So, best of luck to you, Mr. Vase and Hanushka. Yes, and of course. Another attempt on the Constellations large box, Mr. Kvensi, has been quite successful over these past few years with his Outer Plants collection, and uh, somewhat recently he has had a few Constellation skins accepted. So, let's just go take a look. Constellations, Constellations, where are you? Constellations, it's all deployables. So, uh, this is actually probably one of the best examples to showcase the deplorable collection because what we do tend to see is when a new deplorable is accepted with a collection of skins that's only deplorables you do tend to see a spike in demand and a spike in price and this actually happened with the arrival of the garage door here so when this was accepted back during the middle of january these two skins did spike in demand and spike in price so let's just scroll down right now this is selling for uh, almost three dollars but if we go to january 12th time what do we see do you see that right there da -da 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 -da. Ooh, a new deplorable skin buy out <laughs> doubled in price so yeah that did happen right there and if we were to take a look at the double doors by default, because we don't see many double doors being accepted, this is doing very nicely. But uh, yeah, I scroll down. What do I see? January 12, a spike in demand. So, will we potentially see these deplorables having another spike in demand? I'm going to be brutally honest with you. This does not. These two skins don't have that much quantity, so I don't think that's going to happen with these two. But I think the garage door potentially could go up in price. That's got 86 in the market. Can we confirm that? Yep. Oh, no, it's got 85. And it's selling at $2.46. Oh, that's got quite a lot of room to grow there, doesn't it? So, yeah, I reckon the garage door potentially could go up in price. But uh, Mr. Kvinci has had a lot of submissions of his uh, Constellation skins over these past few months, and they haven't been accepted. Maybe this, is it. Maybe this is their time. Maybe this is their time. We shall see. Best of luck to you, Mr. Kvinci. And uh, if you like it, chat, don't forget, we just, took, we just looked at all of the large box skins. If you want to vote for the ones that you like, go to the description right now, click the link to the collection, and go ahead and vote for them. If you don't like them, don't forget, you can vote no, but... Also consider going to the pages, going to the specific skins comments page and offering your feedback, your critique, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Right, moving on to doors. We have a few sheet metal doors right here. Yes, we do. Let's go take a look at the medieval door. Yes, pretty cool design here with all the ball and chain and the door knocker. Very nice. Very cool. Oh, we've got a gif here. Oh, yeah. Get a good look at that. Made by Mr. Micro and Morphus. Ooh. A nice little gif here to showcase it and uh, let's go take a look at more of the pictures so i don't believe that yet yeah, this doesn't look like it glows in the dark nope no glow in the dark but uh very cool looking design pretty good for the role players maybe then we're going to move on to the likes of the oh wow that's pretty freaky we've got the prototype is that in reference to uh system shock i don't know it's more of a sci-fi theme, so we had medieval, now we've got sci-fi. <laughs> this is made by Oasis and Shuma. Oh, wow, look at that gif. That's kind of freaky. You know what, if this isn't accepted, I recommend that you put this out for Halloween. That's a pretty cool looking design. And it's freaky. It's pretty freaky. <laughs> then we've got a happy sun summer theme. Yes, not medieval. 
not quite sci-fi, but it's nice and sunny. It's beautiful. It's joyful. It is the vacation sheet metal door. So, yep, pretty cool. And that's made by Ice Mile. So let's see what happens with that. Then we have a Cursed Pirate sheet metal door made by Mad Polly. This is uh, not the first pirate theme door to be accepted, if I can remember. I do remember there was another one before. It's not related to this. In fact, I'm, I'm, I am I'm, want to take a look. Because I remember there's a sleeping bag and uh, Trophy Pirate. That's it. Trophy Pirate. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was more of like a squid octopus type of design. That's more of a straight up pirate design. Okay, okay. Pretty cool though. Right. That was all of the sheet metal doors. If you liked any of them, please consider going to the description, voting for them. I've said this like 10 times already. Let's just move on. <laughs> We've got... Oh, no, we did have one more. We did have one more sheet metal door. This is... I guess you could say this is a connection to a collection. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so um, do you remember Freddy and Kruger? They made an Adobe sheet metal door, and it was accepted because it came out around the time that the Adobe building skin was introduced. Well, they thought about why don't we go ahead and make a, a sheet metal door for the sheet metal door building skin, uh, shipping container. But because shipping container can be uh, changed to various different colours, they've come up with the idea of doing a winter, forest, desert and water theme. So I guess it's going to be white container, green container, uh, orange or yellow container and blue container, I guess. Uh, yeah. So it's related in terms of a theme that they've done before already, making a skin uh, that's uh, referential to a building skin that was recently introduced, and they were successful before. So, yeah, cool. Now we're going to move on to Garage Doors. And it's funny that I brought up Adobe, because it looks like we've got an Adobe-themed garage door right there. Adobe Garage Door made by Spectre and Melloc. So, yes, uh, get a good look at this. That actually looks really cool for, like, a summer hut. But, yep. This is the nice pattern that you see with the Adobe building skin. And uh, this does not glow in the dark. Get a good close-up look right there. Yes, very nice. Very cool. Do you like it? You know what to do. Right, there we are. Cool, cool, cool. Moving on, we have the Bombs Away Garage Door. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. This does glow in the dark. We'll show you the picture of that in just a minute. <laughs> that does look cool. If only we could jump out of planes and... Ride a bomb all the way down to blow up bases. If only we could. Oh, we can dream. We can dream. So yeah, pretty fun idea there. Tricks and reckless. Then we have the restricted area garage door. It's restricted. You cannot pass. Cool idea. Cool idea. I like the images that you made for this. This is made by Jürgen Gusta and Zolotno. So yeah, get a good look at that. Very tame in its design, but again... We've mentioned this before earlier today. Uh, well, say that um, like 10 minutes ago. Uh, a lot of people do like the more grounded uh, type of skin. So, yeah, I think a lot of role players would even appreciate that. That looks pretty cool. So, yeah, we've got a decent batch of d uh, door skins this week, don't we? I think we've got a lovely batch of creative ideas and whatnot. <laughs> we didn't get any deplorables accepted last week, though, did we? So hopefully we'll see a whole lot more soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. Now we've got the tank armor garage door made by Zverand. Get a good look at this. So it's all stapled together, it seems. What? If you've been blowing up a whole bunch of tanks and taking souvenirs and pasting it all over your door like a fridge magnet... You madman. You absolute madman. But yep, cool looking idea. Get a good look at this. Uh, does it glow? I don't think so. But yep, more of a grounded idea as well. If you like it, you know what to do. So, cool little garage door skin right there, Mr. Zverand. Moving on, we have a pretty scary looking... <laughs> What's this? What's this? Anything? What have you made here? Is it like a carnival ride type of thing? I think so. You know, like, you know those um, type of rides where you have to sit in a moving cart and then you have to like ride through the mouth and then you enter like a supposedly scary indoor thing that you kind of ride around. Uh, it's kind of reminded me of like that. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <gasps> Whoa, there we go. That was fun. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, yeah. Weird idea. Again... If that isn't accepted, I'd probably make a version 2 and put that out for uh, Halloween. I think that'd get appreciated a whole lot more. Scary carnival idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Consider putting that out for Halloween if it isn't accepted. 
Then we've got the troubled area garage door made by Mr. Chillag. And every week, Mr. Chillag likes to make a video for all of his skins. So let's make it all nice and HD. And let's see what the... If it's Oscar worthy this week. Get a good look at this. We're zooming in. We're tilting. We're getting a nice observation of the skin. Good look at this. Yes. Oh, now we're at a slightly darker time of the day. And someone's approaching it. Oh, they've got their sights and they're going to good look at that. Don't shoot it. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Mr. S Mr. Chillag with his cinema, his kino. Well, do you like the skin? Yes, we're pointing to it. And clap. Yeah. <laughs> um, good stuff there, Mr. Chillag. And a nice little thumbs up to end it. So, yeah. I think we got a nice little look at all of that. Good stuff there, Mr. Chillag. If you like it, go to the description. Consider voting for it. And now, we're going to move on to Double Doors. The final batch of deplorable skins. Here we have a Behind a Bag Sulfur Double Door made by Howdy. Get a good look at this. Um, I hope you're not trying to turn this into a... Um, storage collection type of situation where you're going to make 18 different versions of a double door <laughs> next week metal next week armor next week clothing no let's not do that let's not do that please <laughs> um anyway so yep cool idea got a lot of sulfur in there yeah maybe we should quickly open one of these doors and kind of let some of it out i get the idea that you've overstocked in tons of sulfur that's not a bad idea. That's that's goofy. That's kind of goofy. All right, cool idea. What we have here is actually a continuation. This is the always online double door. Now, what we have had to have before, and we can see it right here, is the garage door. So we're going to take a look at that. So uh, always online, and that came out like in 2021. Yeah, yeah, here we go. August 2021. Almost two years since this was accepted. Wow. So this is currently... Oh, wow. That's $6. Huh. So if we do see the double door being accepted, do you reckon the skin creator might potentially make some more deplorable skins? I, I think they might consider it. So, yeah. Maybe this is going to turn into a full-fledged deplorable collection. Oh, that goes... It goes up. It goes down. It goes up. It goes down. It goes up. It goes down. It goes up. So, yeah. Uh... Mm, looking pretty good looking pretty good uh will we see this potentially spike in demand and price if we see this being accepted and we'll just get a better look at all of this double doors pictures yep so that's what it looks like clan and war yay um and yes it glows in the dark as you can see here's a better image of it during the day get a good look at that so if this were to be accepted would this go up in price um I'll be honest with you, it already looks like it's going up in price at the moment, so it probably wouldn't have that much of an impact, or maybe it'll just uh, exacerbate it, make it go even higher in price. Um, probably, yeah. I think it would be, do pretty good for that. And if it does turn into a collection, then all the better. So, yeah, that would be pretty nice, wouldn't it? So, gentlemen, that was all of the deplorables. Did you like any of them? Uh, feel free to comment in the uh, YouTube uh, comments, which was your favourite. Uh, all of those skins, all available to all of you. <laughs> all of all they're available to all of you. Um, yep. All you got to do is go to the description, click the collection link, and vote for the ones that you liked. It's as simple as that. I'm going to take a quick drink. And then we're going to move on to weapons and tools. Starting off with uh, all of these. Lightweight sword. This looks pretty cool. This is made by Robstar, and it does have a video. Ah, it's quite loud. So let's just make this HD. No, super HD. Yes. Um, if he got better lighting, I'd appreciate it more. But you know what? I think we got a good look at what this looks like. Don't throw it away. I need to see it. Don't stop. Uh, hold still. All right. Uh, no, no, no. What are you doing? I wanted to look at it. All right. It's all right. He's got a spare. It's all good. Okay. So get a good look at that. Nice and shiny. Don't look at the bear. Look at the sword. Don't get... No, don't. No, 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 don't. Rob, no. What are you doing? I need, oh, it's all right. He's got another spare. All right. We can get a good look at it. Okay, cool. So, we, oh, we, we, where did the bear go? Rob, look below you. Rob, Rob, watch out. It's a bear. <laughs> anyway. No. You wouldn't need so many spares if you didn't throw them away. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> cool looking savage sword, don't you think? So this is part of the lightweight collection. As you can see, we've had many, 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 many acceptances. So let's go take a look at the SCMM. Lightweight. 
And here we are. Now, what was the most recent one to be accepted? It was the double barrel. That was, oh, that was last year. Okay, so maybe potentially we'll see the first lightweight skin of 2023 to be accepted. Maybe. It's not your first attempt. If it, no, yeah, you had, you had that. You've definitely been trying quite a lot to see your hoodie and pants being accepted. I don't blame you because you got all of the other stuff accepted except it. So anyway, moving on. Uh, would the likes of a salvage sword have a great impact on all of these skins? Uh, no, no, no. I wouldn't expect that. You've already got most of the uh, armor out already. Do you know what I would like to see? I reckon some deplorables would look pretty cool. And you could probably try and make an alt version where you have some transparency. Because, of course, with the lightweight, you can vaguely see through some of the uh, mesh, can't you? So maybe that's an idea for you, Mr. Robstar. Just giving you a nice little heads up. But don't don't forget, you can make one that's solid and make an alternate version that's uh, transparent. So you can test your luck with that, can't you? So I wouldn't mind seeing some deplorable uh, lightweight skins. That couldn't hurt. But right there, it is a savage sword. What do you think? What, what do you think? What do you think? Yes or no? Consider voting. Right. Sorry, I need another drink. It's getting hot. Hammer face poly. Face poly hammer. Hammer, 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 hammer. Right. So this is made by uh, Sean Mick. He's been utilizing this design a whole bunch fairly recently. You might recall last Christmas he had a Christmas tree door being accepted with this type of design. Um, I don't know how you would uh, explain what it is. I think he is saying it's like... Uh, special type of poly design well i will just point this out the last marketable hammer to be accepted was over a year ago it was the toxic hammer back in march of 2022 don't believe me i'll show you hammer skins show them to me please yes last marketable hammer to be accepted was toxic hammer the beginning of march 2022 it's been that long it's weird you use the hammer all the time don't you so why don't we have more skins I don't know. If we were to look at highest price, are they all in the profit now? Are they all profitable? They're all in the green. Well, there you go. That's what happens when you don't see any hammer skins being accepted for such a long time. Let's ruin it by adding more hammer skins. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I'd welcome it. I'd like to see more hammer skins being accepted. It's been quite a long time, weirdly, so why not? But that's not the only uh, attempt, because we also have the construction hammer made by Mishka and Svonspa. Get a good look at this. Yep. So, yes, yeah, get a good look at that. Nice little design. Cobalt. Ah, in reference to one of the many companies that are hidden away in rust. So, yep, get a good look at this. Doesn't glow. Nope, doesn't glow. So, yep, if you like it, consider voting for it. Now we're going to move on to some bows. We have... Hunting bows and crossbows. We have the snake isolation hunting bow. Get a good look at this. Made by Cody. Yes. Then we have the sin bow. Made by Cubist and Mothcat. Got a little bit of transparency there. Yep, yep. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. We did have the um, root bow accepted this week, which also had a bit of transparency. We'll see if it gets accepted. We shall see. Then we got the Valor crossbow. And this isn't super bright and colourful, but what I do respect is it's a pretty cool looking desi design. So this is made by uh, GSPY, GSP, I don't know how to pronounce that. But when you look at it, you think, oh, yeah, pretty cool looking bump map there. That looks pretty cool. So, um, yep, got a nice design all there. More grounded with its design, not super colourful. If you appreciate a skin like this, I'd consider voting for it. Then we're moving on to some Eokers. Yes, we've got quite a lot of Eokers. Here's all of the Eokers. Starting off with the Athanage. Yes, get a good look at that. It says fire, uh, and it has boom on the other side. And it's a bit burnt on the... Yeah, so uh, funny little goofy design here made by Kaiba. Oh, got a better image right there. Yep. So if you like it, you know what to do. Consider voting yes or no. But it's not the only one because we also have the Return of the Bullseye Collection. Yes. Borzai was a weapon skin set that had quite a few acceptances last year, but we haven't seen any so far this year. So it seems Mr. G GXT Face has thought, maybe I'll try again. Maybe I'll just reboot it, get it uh, up and running again. So let's go take a look at the Bullseye set. Uh-huh. Here you go, look at this. Oh, we only had two skins. 
Well, there you go. So uh, we have the bullseye python and we have the bullseye saw. We did have many other attempts to see if we could see any other uh, weapon skins being accepted. It didn't happen. But we've returned to it. Let's see if the uh, Ioka stands a chance. Now, if this were to be accepted, would those other uh, bullseye skins potentially go up and price up in demand? No, I don't think so. When it's only weapon skins in a collection, you don't really tend to see that much of an impact. The only thing the only skin collection i'm seeing it happen at the moment is redemption but i think that's just because people really do like the redemption set as a whole so you know maybe we'll see a, a bit of a change but it's been such a long time i don't think this would have that much of an impact then we also have another continuation of a collection this is the tnt eoka made by zinc eichvenia and sod sender so get a good look at this it's got dynamite <laughs> you got matches right next to him eh? Ooh -hoo. it's got the flint all around here so that's looking pretty cool so yep yeah, funny design for a, a simple price of one dollar 99 shoot down those doors and raid those bases um funny goofy and it is part of a collection do you remember the double barrel shotgun that was accepted uh, quite some time back? Let's go uh, take a look. TNT. <laughs> Here we go. TNT double barrel shotgun currently selling for a low. Oh, 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 yep. It's got low quantity, but its price is fairly low as well. It's not doing too well. This sold at $2 and it's down to $1.33. Bit awkward. But, 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 if we were to see any Yoka skin being accepted, would it potentially help out the double barrel? I'm going to be, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. I don't think so. I don't think anything's going to really help this out. Um, if we did see more and more TNT skins being accepted, maybe we'll get somewhere, but... I, I, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I don't think it's going to really have that much of an impact. So, moving on. Root Sap. And many other handhelds. Yeah, okay. Yeah, handguns. We'll call them that. Root Sap. This is made by Red Rex. And, of course, it's a continuation of the bow skin that we literally just had accepted this week. So, over to here. Hello, Roots Bow. How you doing? 4,500 sales after four days. Oh, dear. Uh, so, um... I don't think it's going to really help it that much. Uh, this doesn't seem to be very in demand, unfortunately. So, yeah. It's a cool design. I like the bump map work. You've got a cool design here, but I don't think it's going to have that much of an impact on the bow. So, awkward. Then you've got the likes of the cat's pistol. Uh, do you like cats? Come on, tell me. Do you prefer cats or dogs? This is serious. Or oh, penguins. Do you like penguins? This is serious, all right? Gotta tell me. Gotta comment. <laughs> oh, there's a mouse there. Oh, he's caught in an awkward place. Well, cat's pistol. Uh, does it shoot cats? That would sell a lot. But we'd need a lot of cats. We don't have any cats in Rust. Well, that's a bit awkward now, isn't it? Right, moving on. Okay. Here we have the Apache semi-automatic pistol made by SMKSS. And uh, who else? Uh, Marduk and IGWT Menace. Not a bad idea. Looking pretty cool. Aim down the sight. Do we have a red tip? Uh, yes, we do. Actually, it looks a bit orangey. Still, that's still helpful. Yep, 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 yep. Cool idea. Uh, if you like it, please consider going to the description. Oh, random hiccup. Please go to the description. Look, click the link to the collection. Oh, and there's another hiccup. I drunk too quickly. Sorry. I'm very sorry. Well... Apache pistol, do what you can. Okay, cool. <laughs> Where did it? I'm not hiccuping now. What am I like? Anyway, moving on. We have the Mechanism Python made by v uh, <coughs> Zenon. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like clockwork. <laughs> moving on. Right, so uh, yep. Do we have a nice aim down the sight image? That's what we would most desire. We don't, but I can see here that it doesn't have a extra special color for the tip. So looks like it's going to be yellow. Probably don't want to use this in a desert area. Okay. So those are all the handguns. Now we're going to move on to SMGs. We have quite a decent amount. Here we go. Here we have the irradiated SMG. Get a good look at that. It's um, those sunflowers. Oh, that's a bit awkward. Moving on. So this is made by Delray. Get a good look at that. Aim down the sight. What colour is the tip? It's green. Probably not super helpful that, but regardless. Pretty goofy design there. If you like it, please consider voting for the irradiated SMG made by Delray. 
Then we have a continuation of a collection. This is the Lunar SMG made by Mr. Y9J. Yes, and 34633. Three. So, um, yeah. Do you like craters? <laughs> you got a lot of craters. So, uh, yeah, bump map looks cool. Return to the uh, Lunar Collection. Uh, do you like Lunar Collection? Let's go take a look. Lunar. Come on. Here we go. Lunar Collection. It's... Uh, oh, not too good at the moment. Thompson seems to be doing somewhat okay. Not down too much, but the AK hull, dear. The Sir hull, dear. So, uh, uh, if we saw a uh, custom SMG being accepted, would the spike in demand price... Again, when it's weapons only, doesn't tend to happen, so I doubt it. So, a uh, bit awkward there, but, you know, if you like it, you can still consider voting yes or no for it. One and Jay, you've been very successful this year with quite a lot of skins accepted, so could this be another? Could this be another? Now we're going to move on to the Rare Flame MP5 version 2, made by Mr. Verona. Get a good look at this. Yes. Got a nice little bit of design here. Flames made out of gold, bolted in with... Golden nails and yes, pretty cool, sleek design. Yes. Um, do we have an aim down the sight image? No, but can I get a good look at the color of the tip? And it is black. All right, so that's that's gonna be okay. It's not gonna be too bad. That's fine. That's fine. So, yep. If you need a new MP5 skin, consider voting for this. Then we're gonna move on to Corrosion Thompson. This is made by Sadist. Get a good look at this. And, uh, Sadist, you did a very good job recently with your, uh, Twitch drops for Bellum. Just want to give you a nice little heads up there. I liked a lot of them. So, could we see Sadist being successful with a, uh, marketable skin? We shall see. The Corrosion Thompson is right there in front of you. Get a good look. Yep. He's taking count and... Uh, okay, cool, cool. All right, cool. Then we have a Thompsonana. This is a continuation of the Banana Collection. Right, so aim down the sight. What do we see? It's a greenish yellow tip. Cool, cool, cool. So, yep, yeah, this is a continuation of the Banana Collection. Get a good look at this. Do you see a banana man? Of the, 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 the white hot sand. Any more than it. Sorry. Uh, uh, <coughs> banana collection oh we got a banana skin right here here we are didn't have to look too far so uh yes um i'm kind of thinking people do kind of like the collection uh you know banana kind of struggled for a fair bit but it's not struggling as bad as it as it did cross banana was the same but it's kind of doing a bit better double barrel nana's holding up quite all right and i do think the sarnana might potentially be a good thing to chase after but moving on uh <coughs> thompson Anna, will that potentially have a nice positive Im impact on all of this i kind of think it actually might like a lot of people have started to you know, I, I i have started to notice the price of these two skins have started to recover quite nicely with each new banana skin being accepted <sighs> So, yeah, and I'll be honest with you, by default, if that were accepted, it's a Thompson skin. It's going to do all right, like, it, it, immediately. And that being the only yellow Thompson, um, do we have another yellow Thompson? I'm curious now. Do we have another already existing and accepted yellow Thompson? Why are you taking forever to... F SMM, hurry up, please, honestly. You're making me look silly. Well, while you do that, I'm going to take a drink. Any day now, come on! Chup chup! Here we go. Right, so let's just go by. Uh, oh, it's already on newest, isn't it? So we did have the Recycler Thompson. That's down by 3% at the moment, but overall, no, we don't have like a fully blatant yellow Thompson. Uh, I think that would probably do be. I think it would be doing alright. Do you know what? Do you know what we need, Debski and PYH? Maybe consider going for clothing and armor. Couldn't hurt. Or uh, deplorables. Deplorables would be pretty good. Actually, no. Where is my giant banana longsword? All right. Come on. That is a perfect idea. Where is the giant banana longsword? I want to whack people round the head with a giant banana. Is it too much to ask? Honestly. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> we have the double barrel shotguns here. And then we've got some SARS to take a look at. So yes, this is the Nightfall Double Barrel Shotgun, made by Mr. Sill. Get a good look at this. It does not glow, as stated. 
But it also comes in a uh, blue version. Wow, it's blue. Looking at you. It's not that blue. It doesn't seem to be that blue. So, make it more blue. <laughs> Alright, okay. Pretty cool there. Then we've got the Chew Toy Sar, made by Evan Obj. OBJ. So, uh, if I can recall, you are trying to make a new collection. Yep, because I remember the AK. So, maybe the AK might be accepted, and maybe you'll see this potentially be accepted. We have been getting a lot of Sar skins accepted fairly recently, so... We shall see. Now we've got the Sweet Napping Sar. It's sweet. It's delicate. And you can relax. Where? Yes. Very colourful, isn't it? This is made by Shino. Um... We've got a good aim down the sight image. Come on, Shino. Yes, we do. And the tip is dark blue. Aiming at you, Mr. Deer. Ho, ho, ho. So, yep. Uh, that should be okay for most environments. So, yep. That is the sweet napping saw. Do you need another colourful saw in your life? You know what to do. Consider voting yes or no. Uh, oh, accidentally did it twice. And this is a continuation of the Ruin Collection. I believe we only have two Ruin skins, AK and the Garage Door. Yep. Okay, so... Would the uh, Saw have an impact on these two skins? I'm going to be brutally honest with you. I don't think so. I don't think so. I honestly don't know why that AK is up in price so much uh, compared to what it was before. It might be pumped, actually. Let's go take a look. There's only 13 on the market. Um, yeah, that's looking like a pump. <laughs> yeah, looks like the AK is getting pumped. Well, there you go. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to have a significant impact on these two skins because number one, this is getting pumped, and number two, I don't think people care too much for this scourge door. Not that there's anything wrong with it, it's just, yeah. Uh, I guess it's just a bit awkward because we had so many options for garage doors accepted last year. I think people just prefer all the other ones over compared to the other garage door. But other than that, looking at this, I like it. Very cool design. Obviously, it's supposed to be like uh, temple ruins, and you can see all of that with the bump map work here and all that. The somewhat green coloration as well. So, I like it. You've done a good job there, Mr. Bear Trip and Hulk. Let's see if that potentially gets accepted. But you do have competition. Uh, we've shown all of the other skins, but here is another continuation of a collection. This is the hard suits are. So, yeah. We were hoping to see that tier 2 being accepted. Oh dear. Uh, but, you know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Shedmon has been trying to make some weapon skins now. So get a good look at that. It's very well protected, I will say that. Look at that. It's all nailed down. Nice and shiny. So, yeah, looking pretty good. So, would the uh, hard suit collection get a nice bump in demand if we uh, saw this potentially being accepted? Uh... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, if Face Punch show that they are interested in the hard suit collection still, I think people would probably have a bit of a spike demand in these because they would remain hopeful that we potentially might see hard suit tier 2 being accepted at some point down the line. But, uh, I don't know. It's awkward. It's a bit awkward. We were very hopeful, weren't we? And it never got to finish. And then, yeah. We shall see. Best of luck to you, Mr. Shedmon. Now we're going to move on to a uh, LR300 and a whole bunch of AKs. we got a lot of AKs. And then you know what? We'll just wrap it up with all the uh, remaining weapons. So here is the uh, Spray Shot LR300 made by Drug Vlad and Eros. You can see how they developed the skin right there in the GIF. Get a good look at the skin. Not too wacky with its design. It's got a nice spray paint uh, painting on it. So yeah, more grounded, but some people do appreciate these things. And uh, aim down the sight. What do I see? It's got a pinkish tip. So there, that would be helpful. People would appreciate that. Good stuff there, to you two. Now we've got the AKs. We've got a Nippon AR. This is uh, Japan themed, apparently. Yep, so this is made by Slipkey and Jiba. Aim down the sight. What do we see? Seems to be a black tip. All right. So yeah. Oh, yep, we can confirm that is a black tip. So uh, uh, do you like Japan? Do you like AKs? <laughs> right, moving on, we have the Necros, uh, Necro Skull AR, uh, made by GBG and Trigger. So they did not make a JPEG skin this week. Is this... I don't know my Warhammer very well, but is this in reference to those... Uh, what are they called? The robot... Uh, uh, Necron, I think? 
I don't know my Warhammer very well. Um, but I think there's like like robot uh, zombie things. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know very well. Uh, feel free to answer me or comment. Tell, tell me if I'm right. So yeah, pretty cool idea. Doesn't glow. Yeah, pretty cool. Let's see if that potentially gets accepted. Now we've got the snake attack. Oh dear, I don't want to be attacked by a snake. Well, you can attack people with the snake. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, oh, he's all slivery and slimy. Ugh. Um, snake attack made by Kavahu and Sana. And you can see the progress of the development in the design of the skin right here. Looking pretty cool. Do we have a nice aim down the sight image? Yes, we do. What's the color of the tip? It's red. Perfection. Lovely. And what do we see right here? He's returned. It's the Frog Cosplay AK. Good, good look at this. It's bright, it's colourful, it's silly, it's goofy. It's the Frog Cosplay Collection. So, we were hoping to see that tier 3 being accepted, weren't we, Mr. Milio Frito? <laughs> it didn't happen, though. <laughs> Damn it. Right, well, he's uh, trying to make some weapon skins out of this now. And I'll be honest with you, I kind of wouldn't be surprised if that's accepted i think i think that would look pretty cool i think people would like that so yeah what do you reckon would you like to see frog cosplay getting a whole bunch of weapons now don't say that you want to see the tier three all right i know i want to see it as well let's get a quick look at the tip and it is a red tip very cool so maybe we'll see tier three at some point in the future we shall see we shall see Moving on, we have a ninja gun l96 this is made by mr kusel hello there kusel what do we have here it's a somewhat flowery pattern. Yes. Now we have a continuation. I believe this is a version 2. E yeah. Yeah, I think this is. So you actually submitted this not too long ago, didn't you, Mr. Duck? It must have been about February time or something. But uh, it wasn't accepted. But now you've waited your time and you thought, you know what, let's give it another shot. So here is a second attempt with the Copper L96. So Copper Collection has all the core pieces accepted. We did have an AK accepted not too long ago. And uh, yeah, back in uh, oh March, early March. So it's a second attempt. If we saw the L L96 being accepted, would we see these go up in price? Well, when this was accepted, these did actually, ha these did, these did actually spike in demand a bit. And they did go up in price. But ooh, that hoodie isn't doing too well, is it? Oh dear. But uh, yeah, maybe. Hard maybe. We shall see. And to end it with the last weapon skin, it is the Missile Silo Rocket Launcher, uh, obviously in reference to the recent new monument that we had accepted, so, uh, uh, introduced. Introduced. So, yep, yeah, get a good look at that. Do you need a new rocket skin right here, right now? Uh, well, you probably just got the Bellum Twitch drop, didn't you? So, and that also has a glow in the dark uh, aim sight. Uh, we'll see, Sad Happy. We shall see. And with that, gentlemen. Did you like any of the weapons or tools that we just went through? If you like them, please consider going to the description of this video right now. Go to the, go click the collection link and vote for all the skins that you liked. If you didn't like them, feel free to vote no, but uh, at least offer some criticism. Add some feedback in the comments of a section of the skin. So I'm just going to take a real quick swig of the water. You can think in your brain which of those skins that you liked. Just going to grab my water right here. We're going on for about 15 minutes. I am feeling hot. <laughs> All right. So, let's get started. Let's start taking a look at these skins. Cactus Bandana, made by Chris. Get a good look at this. It's got a nice flower top there on the boonie hat. We have had a lot of boonie hat skins accepted so far this year, haven't we? Uh, four, I believe. And you might say, that doesn't sound like a lot. Well, we used to only see like one or two accepted a year, so... Not a, not a bad idea. A bit goofy, but I think role players would appreciate it. So, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> and uh, speaking of very silly, this is a glow in the dark t shirt. Mr. Sir Q thought to himself, you know what? We need a t shirt to make people want to shoot you. Yes, look at that. Glow in the dark t shirt. You quite literally have arrows pointing at your body. Do you want that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> have at it you know i think a lot of people are probably thinking i don't want that but you know what imagine a youtube series where you had to wear that the whole time <laughs> have fun at night you probably wouldn't leave your base would you we'll force you to so items for fun is a collection he seems to be making oh we also have the beanie hat 
Do I have that in my collection? I don't think I do. I don't. Oh, I'm going to have to add that and add it. All right, well, don't worry. It's there as well. So you already saw a picture of it. For some reason, I couldn't see that in the batch of skins I saw. Don't worry, I will insert it. When you see it yourself, uh, it'll, it'll be the, right there. It'll be right there. It'll be good. It'll be good. Right, what's this I see? A white out jacket. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Why am I saying oh, no? So, fairly recently, we had the white out boots accepted. That was nice. But uh, how many white out boots did we have accepted? Uh, oh, yes. Um, uh, I mean, ex uh, bought, bought, bought. 116,000. <sighs> cool. <laughs> Face punch. Listen, if you're going to accept this jacket, right, make it sell, sell it at $2. At the very least, you won't see so many sales. So, yeah, right now you see over a 1,000 listings, and you can see that big, fat wall of resistance right there. How spectacular. So, yeah, face punch. If we do see this potentially being accepted, consider selling it for, at the very least, $2. You'd make a whole lot more money, and we won't see as many sales. Even then, if it, like, you know, the white tail boots are uh, sold at 99 cents. So 100,000 sales, $100,000 worth of uh, sales. But you could have easily sold those boots at $2. And I still think you would have had, like, 60,000 sales. And, you know, that would have been even more profit. Because, well, 2 times 60, 120, you get the idea. So this jacket would be very, 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 very nice. Because, of course, the white tail... The idea is that you want to use it in the snow environments, but of course, it's cold. And wearing armor, it's not going to help you out, but a jacket will. And of course, makes sense. A white, pure white jacket for the white outset, for the snow environments, it's going to be helpful. It's going to be very helpful. Not in the desert, but in the snow environment. So it would definitely be wanted. And as I said, with the amount of sales that we've had with the likes of the most recent white out skin, I think you could list it at a higher price, uh, face punch. Just a hunch, just a just a consideration. So yeah, if that were to be accepted, would you see the likes of the Whiteout collection go up in price? Um, hmm. Oh, I don't want that. I wanted all of the Whiteout skins. Can you show me all of the collection? Why did we only get the kilt? That was odd. Uh, so here's the problem. Whiteout collection have... Like, all of them have a lot of sales. There's a lot of these in circulation. And uh, they are always a mainstay on the front page. If I were to just go over to here, and then go here, and refresh, and you always see Whitetail on the front page. Oh, Bombshell, what are you doing there? Uh, oh, don't tell me TikTok. It was another TikTok video, wasn't it? Anyway, moving on. You always see Whitetail on the front page. Oh, and that's a manipulation right there. Sorry, I get distracted. Yeah, that Wasteland hat shit, it's not worth $9. It's a manipulation. Stay clear. Stay away from it. Stay well away from that, all right? But anyway, what I was trying to say is, if you were ever to take a look at the front page of the Rust Steam Market page, you will always see Whitetail. It's like, it's a given. It's always in demand. It's always there. And it's always fairly pricey. So I will sit here and say, I kind of think there will be a bit of a demand, a bit of a jump in a, a, a bit of a buyout. I just don't know how far it will go because there's so much of it in circulation. I will sit there and say, because this is like a super necessary component for the snow environments, which the Whitetail uh, set wants to be utilized in, I would sit here and say, yeah, I think it would have a bit of a jump in price. But uh, will it be accepted? That's the question. Wait, where am I? I want to go over to here. Yeah, back to here. Cool. Right. So, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That would be a nice and very welcomed addition to the Whitetail collection. Moving on, we've got a primitive forest raiders so last week we saw this with the first batch of skins uh this week we now see the submission of the deer skull yeah this is the deer skull mask uh what he's done mr vleck and igor uh, what they've done is they've removed the mesh of the deer skull and they've made it pure green for you know forest raiders green color so yep we will be seeing even more next week. Next week, I believe, we'll see the bandana with the burlap shoes. Yep, 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 yep. And last week, we saw the likes of the uh, hide pants and shirt. Um, I, I sat here and said, would we actually see a, pri uh, a spike in demand and price for the Forest Raiders? No, because it's already super in demand. It's already expensive. So, yeah. Primitive would sell very, very nicely if it's accepted. But we shall see. And recently, recently, we have been seeing more green clothing and armor skins being submitted because with the likes of Forest Raiders only getting more and more expensive, in fact, you know what, let's just show you. With it only getting more and more expensive, 
people are looking forward uh, looking for alternative and budget options and skin creators clearly are aware of that because they're making they're producing new potential options here is the sniper camo hoodie and pants get a good look at this what do you reckon does it blend in nicely this is made by uh mr Yupor and hyper monster what do you reckon now at the very least i think you should call it ghillie suit and yeah, it's pretty much the same pictures. So what do you reckon? Well, you can go to the description right now and you can click the collection link and you can go ahead and vote for them. It's as simple as that. We do have a, a little, you know, let's just click all of these. Yep. So uh, a, a new addition to the Touch of Midas. Uh, it was submitted last week, if you can remember. We had Touch of Midas hoodie and pants. Well, this week we've got some road sign gloves. And I, I will sit here and say... Very fitting that the whole thing is essentially gold, because if you know the story of King Midas, uh, he was cursed, where everything he touched would turn to gold, and uh, yeah, you get the idea. So, very cool, very cool. Um, do you have the golden touch? Do you, are you able to kill everybody very easily? Well, maybe you need the right type of gloves for it, don't you? So, yep, very cool, very cool. Let's see if any of that potentially gets accepted. But what, what do we see here? What do we see here? The Arctic Skull Collection is now moving into clothing and armor. Get a good look at that. Could that be your new budget whiteout collection set? Maybe, maybe. Uh, recently, we have been saying with all the weapon skins... Uh, they are nice alternatives to the uh, comics weapons because quite a lot of the comics weapon skins are fairly expensive but with all of these Arctic Skull weapons coming out fairly recently they are uh, a whole lot more affordable aren't they and they've been doing rather all right in terms of retaining their value but we do have to sit here and say will any of these weapons potentially go up in price so spike in demand spike in price i will sit here and say yeah i do um this has happened before with the likes of skull killer skull killer set started off with weapons they're all bright and blue but they didn't really have a good skin set to go with lo and behold as time went on we saw the skull killer clothing and armor being accepted and all of the weapons did go up in price so i do think all of these weapons would go up in price that is a given i do think it will happen so a consideration for you to make are you going to invest into these do you think arctic skull tier 2 will be accepted or oh, we shall see or oh, we shall see so uh unfortunately we don't have like a super great image of it being like in the middle of snow this is the best i can really show you so yeah that's it right there get a good look at that yourself moving on to tier 3 now got a whole bunch of uh tier 3 sets here Cargo for Warder. For, forwarder? Forwarder? Yeah. So tier 3 right there, made by Novarom. Get a good look at this. I'm not sure what the theme is. Uh, Sci-fi armor? I don't know. I do not know. <laughs> Feel free to comment what you think it is. So Novarom, best of luck to you. You do have competition though, Mr. Novarom. You do have the Card King chestplate. This is made by Odyssey. And uh, Odyssey still waiting to see if his uh, Elite Crate Tier 2 could potentially be accepted. I'd like to see Odyssey make a version 2 of his Tier 2 set. I'm just saying, because that's also another green set that we'd like to see being continued. But for now, we do have Ke Card King Chestplate Tier 3. So if you're a fan of this, go ahead, consider voting for it. Yeah, let's get a good look at that. That's a nice little image. Now we have the Green Army Men. So, last week we had Hoodie and Pants. This week, Tier 3. Get a good look at that. And uh, here we are. It's somewhat shiny and plasticky, but of course, that's the intention. That is the intention. It's meant to be like those Green Army Men toys. Yeah. Somewhat dark green. Do we have a... You really should have a grassy environment picture. It'd be awesome if you could do that in the future, Mr. Rotten Man. But uh, it doesn't look like we have a very good image. That's probably the best image I can show to you. Yeah. Right. Now we've got the continuations of collections. We have... Starting off... High quality metal tier 3. High quality metal tier 3 is right here in front of us. And uh, recently we've had a whole bunch of weapon skins being accepted. So, much like the Arctic Skull. Here I am, taking a look at uh, this... That's not the right one. Oops. High quality metal weapons, please. Here we are. Yeah, they have been holding up very nicely. They've been accepted quite frequently, but not doing too well. But as I have said with the likes of Artist Skull, if the uh, 
clothing and armor uh, skins are to be accepted you will see a spike in demand and price with these so that is to be accept uh, 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 expected i know i can't guarantee it's going to be accepted but i'm just pointing out the trend of when uh clothing and armor is accepted with a set that's only had weapon skins yeah yeah you will tend to see a spike in demand moving on i keep rambling sorry so yeah very cool if you like it please consider voting for it mr diaz let's see if you're going to be successful in the future right let me just quickly take a quick drink because this is going to be a talk this is the third attempt with comics tier 3 i know it says version 2 but it is a third attempt you can see it here in the comics collection link in the uh, in the uh, workshop so it originally had a version with a mouth this came out back in 2021 wasn't accepted earlier this year we had uh, another version alternative of with a mouth and without a mouth that wasn't accepted now we have version three, the third attempt, and here we are. What do you reckon? Would you like to see that being accepted? I think a lot of you would, because a lot of you bought a ton of the comics hoodie and pants when they were accepted back in February. Is that correct? Yeah, February, early February. This was accepted. 45,000 sales each on average. Ridiculous sales. And then we also had the gloves and the boots. Ridiculous sales, but... We never saw the tier 3 or the tier 2 being accepted. Well, we got another chance at this. Do you reckon this has a good chance of being accepted? Well, if you do, are you going to jump in and buy out some hoodie and pants? What do you reckon? Do you reckon it stands a decent chance? We shall see. We shall see. As I said, Mr. Legacy has had a few attempts in the past, but they haven't been successful. But could we see this being its final... Could this actually finally happen? We shall see. And of course, yes, this will go up in price very nicely if we see the tier 3 being accepted. Of course, also the boots and gloves. Boots dropped off quite a lot because, of course, as we mentioned earlier, we had whiteout boots. And whiteout boots, whew, there was tons of them and this suffered because of it. So that is all of the skins, gentlemen, or, and ladies and various people. Yep, those were all of the skins. Which of these did you like the most? Feel free to comment at the bottom in the YouTube comments. I know I went on for quite some time, but quite a lot of things needed to be said, and it was a very interesting batch of skins, so... Yes. <laughs> right, so... Um, I will just point this out. TGG did not make a video today. He's only made a collection link. So um, I'm sure you're all aware that TGG's lists are the curated lists that get checked through and he verifies that these are all of the quality standard to potentially be accepted. All of the interesting clothing and armor skins that we saw last week are in the list. So it's a matter of who's going to get accepted for the next Rustle rotation. We have pixel we have reptile hunter we have uh da, 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 da. Who, we got the pirate collection yep we've got forest raider and we've got blackout those are the co continuations of collections five very well, fairly in demand collections that people do care about that are, they are invested into yeah you also have low poly bing. anyway moving on uh those are core pieces tier three tier two or hoodie and pants who, which one will be the one accepted? Oh, and, and primitive, sorry. Which which is the one do, that you reckon will be accepted? Sorry, I'm really hot. I'm going to wrap up, don't worry. Which one do you reckon will be the one that gets accepted? Which one do you want to see? Which one do you reckon has the best chance? Feel free to comment. It's going to be a very, very, very interesting week. So, as I said, go to the workshop. Go take a look at through all of these skins. Will we actually see a deplorable accepted for the next Rust door? Will we see more clothing skins? Will we see hardly any weapon skins? Because, you know, as I said with this current Rust door, it's been mostly, it was mostly weapons and tools. So maybe this week is going to be mostly clothing and armor and deplorables, maybe? I'd welcome it with face punch. A lot of us would appreciate it. Go for it. Go on, do it, do it. Do a whole set. Where are we? Do a whole set. Do a, do a hoodie and pants, do a tier two, and do a tier three. Go on, do it. You can do it. Come on, face punch. We'll welcome it. We'd we'll welcome it. Three different sets of clothing and armor. That would be a fun rust or rotation, because there would be a lot of profit there, wouldn't there? And with that, that's basically it. That is basically it. Now, don't forget, gentlemen, this has been a recent trend. Face punch recently have been accepting the skins before the actual rotation. So on the Thursday... 
keep an eye on the accepted section you might see the new skins appearing in the accepted section before the rotation even happens so with that that's all the things i needed to say i hope you have a lovely week i hope it isn't ridiculously hot for all of you it's nine o'clock in the evening and i'm start i'm sweating Whew. that's how stupid it is you have a lovely week catch you all later have a good one and we'll see what happens in the future